for more videos. Welcome back everyone to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord with the War Maids and we're about to begin a siege. Carabanceth. No extras defending? Excellent. So there's only the uh, the defenders of the, of the actual keep. Begin the siege. We're going to tell them to uh, go ahead and actually do this, this, and this. Then we're going to stop and realize that I forgot to put my party to have a new engineer, which is our brother Ferrick. Go, buddy, go. There you go, bro. Um, wish I had a longbow. Had some sort of bow. The noble bow is too high for him. What's our bow like? It's seventy as well. Hmm. Well, I guess we can. We may as well give him back a shield of some sort, right? You may as well be able to carry your big shield around with you, because you don't have a bow right now. All right, let's uh, let time pass here as quick as we can. Hopefully, they don't wield up an army of you know eight hundred or more after us. I'm sure they will form an army, but his engineering is now already twenty-seven. 28. <laughs> nice. Setra has some scouting skill boosted. Uh, tracking distance as a scout and tracking detection chance or tracking duration visibility. Travel speed while following hostile army. Oh, that's great. Travel speed by 2%. That'll really cut down on the chases. I like that. Let's do this. Uh, the, uh, what are you guys? Company the Golden Boar. You're really up for uh, helping out in this way. That's good. The whole team's there. Courier from Ergion has arrived. Oh no, it says from Fen Dern Gil offering a ransom for Ergion. Accepted. Accepted, Ergion. We will accept. Um, I do want to focus on getting these siege equipments ready and packed up. Go ahead and do the standard uh, build. See what comes of it. There you go. And remove that one. Uh, 34 is his engineering skill now. He'll keep gaining more. There's the army. 787 of them. 789 of them. Let him get a little closer. He's not going to He's not going to engage. He built a giant army of 800 dudes and he's not going to engage? He, he must have another army coming for us then. Oops. That one took some extra damage. I'm really concerned there's an enemy, another six or 700 men army coming. That's probably what's going on there, right? Another ransom offer. Nice. Uh, you're almost finished. You're at 82%. 85, 92, we'll bring up the siege equipment. We may or may not be able to do this. If they put more on the walls, or another army comes in, we're not going to do this. If, however, that's all that they muster and they won't engage, You're waiting for others. You're totally waiting for another army that's that you know is coming and I don't. Oh, uh, they're hitting the walls. Maybe not. He pulled back again. So they're out of siege equipment. There's Sane's army again. You gonna engage? Thought you were. Caledog has escaped your party. Except another ransom. There's another trib up there, and we're at 40% or less on the walls. Come on, knock it out. Knock him out now. Come on. That's too many of them. If too many more show up, the walls are about 20% done left. There's 72 men. Oh, the boars. One wall's broken. Siege equipment is downed. Other wall is now broken. Now, 
question is, what diplomacy options do... Look at that. Kalidog would not even ask for... Or would not even demand payment. He would not demand payment from us. Wow. Okay. We're going to lead the assault. There's no one holding the walls. Let's uh, let one more day pass and the trebuchets finish that thing off. There we go. All right. Well, they are not quite out of food. Uh, we're good. Our morale is high. Their morale is trash. Let's lead the assault. I didn't switch my gear. I should have. Sh should have switched. I have a... Um, I usually will like to switch up. All right, so in here, where am I? I'm, oh my goodness, there's a lot of us. Um, Hannah, you go in here. Why not? Everybody join. Everybody party now. Uh, oh, hey, actually, that is Branick and, yeah, okay. Uh, how about you guys can have some of both, uh, you know, like, 10% just because I'm just feeling that way where is Brindor and Branek there you go yes you guys you guys use that army <laughs> all right everybody attack that's it just charge that's the big uh, that's the big tactics we have here guys huge tactical skills right there is that a berm I can... Yeah, this is a berm I can climb. Where's the holes in the walls? <laughs> Expected that to get... To let me through. Yeah. Oh, it will not, huh? Yeah. Let's try that at a different angle. Ah, there's, there's the wall entrance right in there. Hide my precious horsey. Nope, they're not gonna let me do that. Alright, the fun begins. Hey, boys, let me have some of this too. See if we can do this without getting ourselves in a, in a suicidal position. Well, I didn't tell him to follow me or anything, so. It should be just charging right through. Giant holes in the walls. Mash those enemies, boys. Go at them. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, this is not good. Again, just run. Just run. <laughs> Too many? Just run. <laughs> this is bad. All bad, all bad, all bad. <laughs> this is dumb. Why do we have so few numbers here compared to them? <laughs> to me, boys. There they are. I was like, where the heck are all my boys? <laughs> this was not working well. She just all run in here. Nope, numbers changed. Tactics changed. Everyone, move out. Come here, everyone, just come here. Some friggin' mosh pit. What the heck? You just spawned a hundred dudes like on top of me. Oh my god, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. They just literally spawned right on top of my dudes. Probably be able to um, I'm probably able to do a lot of wounds rather than deaths by our troops, I imagine. Yeah, 26 dead and 87 wounded on our side. How many did I kill? 84. <laughs> wow. Can we make it 85? Can't make it 85. Oh well. <laughs> there we go. Retreat to the keep. They retreated to the keep. Uh, we'll pick some more troops to attack. Ooh, I am low on health. Um, all of our lords and higher ones are wounded. Not cool. I suppose. We'll bring... The Fians, uh, Imperial Cataphracts would be fine. Those who are not, uh, veteran Falksmen are the top of their, of their group. Um, champions are not. 
Um, heroes could go instead of the Fian champions. That'll work. There we go. That's a plenty good enough. Charge! Yeah! That's it for the uh, archer duel we had planned here. I'll just sit here in this nice fa fancy chair, guys. Oh, hey. I can't get in there. Legit, this is all like a one-way trip. Ugh. Poorly designed team. And they've got barricades intentionally designed to like make it so th as if you weren't able to go through there. But I mean, I've got a giant pole arm and a giant axe. There's no way I would bother with that, right? The hero fell. No, uh, wounded, not dead. That's good. Are we faster running with one weapon versus the other? I doubt it. Wounded Fian is not ideal, but it's not the end of the game. Well, you didn't have to kill him. That was rude. A little excessive. There you go, that's it. The city is taken. All right. <laughs> We've been blessed. We took off a big, chewed off a big chunk right there. Very, very, very big chunk. I don't know if we has the capacity to keep it. I don't know. All right. So, uh, new owner is me. I could immediately give this to my uh, lord who joined us first, Prindor. That wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, some prosperity drop on the city uh, to the keep and the dungeon. So let's manage our prisons. Kulharn, you can join me. Uh, this skirmisher can be recruited. Kulharn. Up here. Uh, the prisoners of the city, I don't care about. Uh, I am going to literally, like, dump all y'all into the, uh, into the salesman here. Doop, a doop, a doop. Go. Including Colhorn. All right. All those are available for later. That's 5,700. All right, now, what does that do to our income? I do not know. All right. Um, 2,700 is the number it's showing. What's the city like? It has a prosperity similar to the other one, so not spectacular. It's out of food, but it says that it's gaining food, which is fine. Uh, can we offload some food for them? Yeah, they have no grain. I can, I can fix that. No problem, buddy. You have 50,000 bucks in hand, too. I'm going to drop down to, like, 250. That's fine. They can have the silver as well, but... They have the iron as well. Um... What else? We can drop off some of the butter. Some of the grapes. Since they are... Um, okay to buy them from us, I mean... Not like we're, we don't need to sell these, and it's not a great profits, really, but that's fine. What's some more fish? That's already 20,000-ish dollars worth, so. All right, how about there for now? Uh, we'll sell the, give you the sheep and the hogs and the cows. And that's 23,000 money. Uh, with these numbers, it's suggesting we only are losing just over a thousand. I think it's probably about three, twenty-five hundred to three thousand, if we do the math with uh, being out of the out of the, the town. Because uh, we also now have 
two locations where we can sell stuff locally in our own faction. That's good. Um, cheese. There's so many banners. Uh, $500 still in the bank, or in their bank, so we'll go ahead and, I don't know, sell up enough to get near there. There you go. Okay. Town management. Do we keep this? No, I think we don't. I think we gift this town to our first. This is Karabansith. We could, well, I mean, we could keep the cities and we could go for a castle. Not that there is any castles under the Britannian line. Give me a minute to, a bit to think about this. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, we can disperse this army, but I don't think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and spend some influence. Uh, to boost the cohesion here. <clears throat> Because our troops are definitely going to, or the army outside the door is definitely still going to be a grievous mess if we get out there and, yeah, 700 and something dollar. Who are you? You're a villager. We do have a bunch of wounded, so let's pull back into the city for a minute. Now, what do you think, mister? What? Consider making peace paying 820. I just took one of your cities. And you're like, you must pay me more. You don't understand the concept of losing a war, buddy. You just don't. That's why you only have two cities left. Uh, athletic skill for Hannah is at 250. <clears throat> Ignore pain. Uh, okay, captains and personal. And this one's Sparta. 50% um, resistance to getting staggered while well on foot. That really doesn't happen. Well, I guess get hit by horses does. And food consumption in your party. I don't really care that much. We always have a copious amount of food. Armor to all equipped armor pieces of foot troops in your formation as the captain. That would be pretty good. But we don't usually have ourselves assigned to the foot troops. Armor well on foot would be helpful, I suppose. Well, we'll use the food consumption one. We don't really use the other one. This is nice. Mighty blows. You stun your enemies longer after they block your attacks. That'll help. <clears throat> um, and one hit point for every skill above 250. Wow. That's not until we hit 275, but that's going to be great. That's for the athletics. And a lot of skills uh, points from those, um, from those sieges, that's for sure. 84 freaking kills in that first range of the siege alone all right uh Ferrick has his next engineering perk he got i don't know what he was 23 or something like that to start with he's already at 64 that was his first big training grounds and he did great uh so he's got a uh, dungeon architect chance of ranged siege engines getting hit while under bombardment oh, okay so Interesting. Um, hit points of range siege engines up by 10%, or chance of them getting hit down by 25%? I think we'll do the hit points, because I'm not sure how that plays out. Um, I don't know. That it seems like the better choice. I don't know, because 25% chance of ranged siege engines getting hit well under bombardment. I don't know what well under bombardment means. What does that mean? If it was just them getting hit, <clears throat> I would assume that meant when they're, you know, when the catapults on the wall are shooting at our trebuchets, there's less chance they get hit. Is that what it means? Because if they get hit 25% less time, maybe the that's better than the more hit points? I don't know. I think we'll leave it there, though. Uh, and Isabella has her, oh yes, her third athletics perk. Imposing posture, persuasion, chance, and party side, um, or craft. Yeah, this is a pointless thing, so we'll we'll make her a little more persuasive. Maybe we'll that'll get her the chance to convince us to leave the uh, to get her to le do something other than that, because that's literally all she does. Let's do a wait here for a bit of time. Hey, hey you've given birth to a healthy baby. Lovely. Garfield and Hannah in the summer, the 
twelfth day of summer in 1091, we had another baby. We had a baby. Hannah's baby. Awesome. All right. Let's uh, let's not wander. Watch that entire episode of that. Uh, let's see. Forty-nine wounded troops. Forty-four, forty-one. Uh, all right. Uh, do you want to resolve owner of Carbanseth decision? It will automatically resolve in forty-three hours. Um. How does that work? Thief's Carbans. Um, resolve existing decision. Brindor is entirely voting for him. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to give the city to you right now. I don't want to give the city to you. Relations with him decreased. It was 99 or is still 99. It's still 99. That's fine. Uh, how much influence does he have? He's got 83. Cool. Um, and then let's double check that that actually changed. Didn't change dramatically terrible right away. Yeah, still 99 relations. You're fine with it. You weren't expecting, obviously weren't expecting to get the city. Resolved. And uh, yeah, so now we have 3,300-ish. For our, our income. That's okay. Consider making peace paying 710 tribute a day. Nope. Uh, are we actually set this war to defensive? We are. So I'm thinking with uh, 32 wounded, I think they'll recover quite fine uh, out, of, out of doors. And what is this numbers like for his army? Very, very, very heavy infantry. Infantry and woodrunners up the wazoo. Are you going to come to me? You are. It's been a while. It has indeed. Ooh, the power levels. Even though he's got only a hundred some more, the power levels are still showing pretty close to even. Uh, Sane, you are Ergen's clansman. Then Glanis is owned by you guys. I really wish I could, uh, you know, convince you to change sides, but I guess after uh, peace breaks out, maybe you'll join and we can get you some lands? I mean, we really need to get two or three clans, hopefully, total. That would kind of be ideal. If we could get two clans to join in. Uh, the loyalty is at 72. It's not going up. It's going down, actually. But let's do this fight here. Oh, there is more in there. Okay. There's a lot of them. All right. Uh, we got we got a whole mishmash, a mishmash of troops here. Um, Prindor, you can do... Uh, I don't have a clue what you're equipped with. We're going to give you uh, cause position with the riders. Nice and as well. Um, you have a pole arm. Also, Beric, you're supposed to be with the archers. You can go with the infantry for now. Icar in the Swift, you are a rider, but you're a horse archer rider. Mithun, I think you might also have arranged. I don't know who you're with, so you can join the archers. Oh, you know what? Actually, no. Dry join the riders there. Beric is also going to join the riders, because they've all got, like, horses. So that's good. All right. Uh, first along here, how big is this uh, battle look like? That's the line way over there. I don't know if that's how that works, but I think it might be. All right. There's three of us. There's three of us in the horse archers. Okay. We're not a, not a ton of mobility this time. Order yeah. yards out, huh? Onwards! 
All right, let's go up. I don't know if he... He's not attacking me. So I'm not sure how this is going to work for control. Field control. Infantry! Attack! No, no, no. There. I was giving you directions, not suicide lo notes. First blood. Whoa, what the heck? What the heck is this? Up. What is this nonsense? Move out! Bowman! Forward! When, when did that change? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I got this. We're gonna charge you. He's not charging us. He's crossing. Yeah. What the heck? He's not charging us at all. Corian just shot one of the swords, veteran sword sisters, right out of the air. My goodness, right out of the air, right, uh, right, like, just sniped her from a mile away. Hear me! Get moving! Troops! March! And our archers do good work from there. Should be able to. Warriors! March! Mounted bowmen! Move out! Hear me! Onwards! Found it, got a shot into the Batanian hero. Nice. They're 25 range to our 82 range. They have 146 infantry on there. Zindia? Zindia? Come on! Okay. They are moving. Hold back, hold back, boys. Riders, get back here. Oh, I didn't see that to the last, almost last moment. 
almost the end of me moment. What is Cavalry! this? Oh my god, they did it again. They Move made a fifth. Out! Every time I tell them to go do their own thing, they're like, yeah, we're going to... By doing that, we're going to just switch up the entire command structure. Thanks, bye. Spiders! Can I get you guys to uh, do something else? Is there another command? No. Take over, come on! Mm, no. We have 102 infantry coming up here. Batman. Make a sealed wall! Batman. Get moving! Get moving! Horses! Sergeants! Sergeants! Mount Sergeants! Take to arrows! Sergeants! <laughs> Ow! Stop it, I'm like six million miles away. Javelin throwing lunatics. Yeah, seriously, that's what you did? You did a scan? Wow. The the the, hor the archers go into like a super tight formation where half of them can't shoot. The moment we get into into a position like if I tell them to do their own thing, their own thing is half the time super dumb. Arg. That's all right. It is what it is. Unfortunately, we're stuck with it. All right, that means uh, we've got the same scenario here. Third, fourth, fifth over there. Fourth is empty. Okay, so we've lost the last couple of them. That's the nobles, though. 225 more infantry coming in? Good lord. Hundreds and hundreds of them, wave after wave after wave. And I'm not getting reinforcements here. Where, where are my reinforcements? Archers! Why am I not getting any reinforcements? We're not losing enough? That seems not cool. I mean, I, I like the idea of not losing enough, but... There's another wave of
Oh my god, there's more! There's more of them! We're still not getting reinforcements! <laughs> Look at them! Oh, Get now we did. Bowman! Him! Hear me! Sergeant! On my command! Sergeant! Archers! Take over command! <laughs> that is just a nasty, crazy bloodbath. What, uh... Now, we lost some, but that was a major army, so... We gotta expect losses. If we ever get to the point where we can actually slow down from this non-stop chasing huge armies in for money, for the absolute necessity of just paying our bills on the backs of our dead enemies, then maybe... And maybe we'll be able to train up new troops. And there we go. Whew. 33 dead's not nothing. Those are more expensive 33 than his. Uh, you are Pendrek. Okay. Anwen of the Pendreks. Uh, Fennigan, yes. We've, we've, uh, squabbled with you a few times. Luke Count, I think, only once. Yeah, 56 relation. Liu Chan, hello. Uh, you're free to go as well. Uh, Ban Morme. This is Marius, yes, clan leader. I wish I could, uh, Get you to join us, but Corian, daughter of Kaladog, uh, you're imprisoned. Melodier, that is the Melodier, isn't it? That is him. Mm-hmm. You're free to go. Almost at full relations. You're imprisoned with your wife. You and your wife can hang out and have some. Chill, relax time. Now that you're both imprisoned in the same place. Less work. I'm doing it for your relationship's sake. Don't worry. Uh, the, they are recruiting in, uh, imper some Imperial troops here and there. Which is a little weird. Still way more. Wow, we are. Yeah, oh right. We have 71 wounded. Which means they're not available to be there to take care of uh, um, watching prisoners when they're currently wounded. Trying to recover themselves. So. Yes. There we are. A bunch more loot again. Straight back to the city, I guess. Friend our relations increased. Good from working together. Uh we may well be able to uh immediately Pendrake. Oh. Didn't know there was a uh, we had a prisoner in Pendrake. Um, well, let's hold on to these two. Uh, release the others. Go to the keep. Go to the dungeon and man. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of you. That's a lot of you. Why'd y'all go get yourself imprisoned? That was silly. Uh, let's look at where things are, politically speaking, now. Um, look at that. Consider peace receiving 160 daily tribute. Receiving the tribute now. Now he's wanting... He's changed his mind now that he was like, Yeah, we're fine. Take my city. I'll take it right back. I have this giant army. Oh, crap. I lost the giant army. Yeah, you did, buddy. Yeah, you did. Uh, let's see. There's 21,000 bucks available here. Not... Oh, oh, reset that. Hold on. There's got to be a bow among that, huh? Ranger bow, bow 15. Is that enough for Farrakh? 
No! <laughs> Darn it! Uh, okay, we need a really crappy bow. Do we have a really crappy bow? We do. Sure. Accuracy 82, 82, and 85. Well, we'll take the crappiest bow there is, I suppose. Mostly just accuracy. I don't care about much else, so... Equip yourself with a hunting bow, sir. You are now the horse archer master. Or, or one of them, anyways. Uh, and we'll hold on to the other bows until you're not quite as useless. But he has some really powerful arrows. That helps, right? Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. We can't use even the simple bow. Ah, uh, what? Yeah, no, no, that's not what I meant to do, but okay, it'll work. To trade again. Offload all the rest of that. And, oh, that's 3,000 short. Wow, okay. How about just that? 5,000 short. There, we don't need to keep harpoons anymore. Thank you. Twenty one hundred. Those are some nice shields. That's uh, Farrick's homemade shield, or the one he started with, I suppose. There you go. Five bucks. They've got five bucks left in their coffers. Um, right now we should uh, probably yeah. Hmm. We're working on the orchard project. It's eleven days from completion. If I dump money into it. Uh, does it improve it? Yes, five days completion. Okay. Should we have a, a leader here? Bethune can be here. Sure. She can be the governess. Does she have any governess bonuses? Sure she does. Uh, faster building of engineering. Uh, security provided by mounted troops. More taxes. Daily loyalty to government settlement. She is also... Um, she's, yes, she's a governor culture. Yep. Um, daily chance to increase the relation with a random notable of the same sex in the governed settlement. I don't think that'll work because I don't think there, I didn't see any ladies in it. I might be wrong. Militia recruitment, uh, hearth growth and villages, and gold for each caravan visiting the governed settlement. There you go. Good job, girl. She's going to make this all work out nicely. So, um, the, yeah, that's not bad. The orchard's a good idea for the food growth. Don't mind that. Uh, it's currently level one, actually. It's about to be level two. Training ground, fairgrounds for settlement loyalty. Uh, we'll drop that militia list off the list. Granary to increase the food reserves. No. Actually, you know what? Yes. Let's go with food reserves. And then let's go with the loyalty for the fairground. And then the prosperity. And then taxes? Sure. Garrison barracks. Siege works. Okay. And in the meantime, work on prosperity. 72 loyalty is plenty. Um, that will go up as she finishes the fairgrounds. We'll give her another total of 30,000 to work on. That's good. Uh, what is your garrison like here? The garrison is already 140 strong. That's not great. It's not a great garrison, but it's it's some garrison. Uh, part of that is because our every time we our lords come into a castle, or into a, a castle or a... a um, oh, there's an elder there. Um... We'll take the gallant, gallant sword sisters as well. Horse archers. Always want more horse archers. We're very short on those all the time. Uh, every time our, our clan members join the walk into a keep, they'll dump garrison. If they if the garrison seems to need it. So, yeah, I mean, that's okay. It like, keeps the garrison stocked, I suppose. Not that that's priority, I guess. What do we got here? Furs. Good. Butter. Lovely. Alright, well, I, I think that's probably an okay place to put. It seemed like an early end because we've been going way over lately, but... Um, hardwood at 24. That's not a great price, is it? Not really. Take your grain. I'm walking around with the entire army. 
I'm just doing this to recruit. Because <clears throat> they clear out everybody when they do that. Uh, 27, which is even worse. <clears throat> okay, so I think next time we may go after Dunglanus. Why not, right? There's 800 defenders there and we kicked butt on the last one. So maybe we hit Dunglanus next episode. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of cohesion to keep it at 58. It does cost us uh, cohesion to keep the army uh, working well together. Primarily because we have new... We have Brannock and Prindor. Um, we could definitely have more troops with some of these. Even ours isn't a full... Uh, even ours is not a full contingent of troops, so... <clears throat> yeah, 250... Oh, we can have 342. Why so big? <clears throat> did we gain a clan tier? We did. Clan tier 5. Oh, oh baby. Uh, we can really boost our numbers here. <laughs> really boost our numbers. We have enough that if they were highly trained dudes, they could take out a city by themselves. But for now... We will end this episode and consider the next episode. Um, well, all of our actual clan. Hold on. All of our allies also end up in clan tier. Yeah, they all have a higher clan tier bonus. So they all have more troops. So they're going to just rock it. That's awesome. Um, I'm impressed. That went well, much better than it could have. <laughs> much better than it could have. Uh, our parties right now, uh, Nyson can do 130. He's got 89 of 139. Ikrin has 67 of 121. Karfid has 100 of 141. So they're all 40 to 50 units short of full. And we are 100 units, almost 100 units short of full. Still a good contingent of troops, personally. With uh, 100 and... Uh, oh, we're still at, we still got a bunch of wounded. 127 being champions. And uh, 54 wildlings. Yeah, we'll definitely want to get some... Let some time pass to let them recover. Let's pop back into the city. Consider things. And the stewardship is up. We're only at 161... 169,000, but look at that. When sitting in the city, we spend only 270 bucks a day. Because we got that perk that lets us spend less on our, gear, our troops in the city. But dang, that's nice. You know what? Before we go, let's check these things. Riding one... Thought I... Did the... Oh, no, it was the athletics 250 and riding 250. Man, we were good at moving. Dauntless speed... 50% uh, resistance to getting staggered while mounted. I don't know what staggered while mounted is. How do you get staggered? That's like knocked back, but not... Hmm. Um, and a captain plus five armor to all equipped armor pieces of mounted troops in your formation. This one was of foot troops. Okay. So that's pretty solid. Armor for all of your armor mounted units. Okay. And then tough steed armor for your mount and 10 armor two mounts of troops in your formation i'm gonna go with the armor for all of our dudes all of our mounted troops now have a hot, stronger armor factor i like it para got her 100 athletic point powerful gives you four percent damage with melee weapons and uh captain melee damage by troops in your formation increased by two percent that's solid or sprint plus five percent combat movement uh, when you have no shield and no ranged weapon equipped that's never going to be the case uh, and three combat movement speed to infantry troops in your formation no the speed's not as important as doing more damage awesome she's the infantry commander and then ikren with her riding up to 150 now uh, range damage well mounted 10% range damage while mounted, and a captain 5% damage by mounted archers in your formation, or mounted warrior for the melee. She's going to do the horse archer one, for sure. Now, I would love to get Ikaren back as a uh, the horse archer captain, but we also have her brother. 
He's gonna do the horse archery thing too. <clears throat> so maybe. Hmm. Well, let me know what you guys think of all this. We have uh, gotten ourselves in a position where we are, we've at least parity. Yeah, we are actually strength-wise, <laughs> forty points higher than Kaladog, and he today he's he's okay with eighty bucks. He paying us eighty bucks. Uh, we need to get one more of the factions to join us. Uh, Derngill would be my favorite, or Uvain, I think. Um, Angel also, actually. Um, hold on. Um, Ergen's clan, yeah. Sane and Corian, really amazing. They own Dunglanus. Now, if we could get Ergen to join us while they own Dunglanus, that would be crazy. Because it would just switch. It would be his, but it would switch to our kingdom. That would be pretty cool. Uh, the other... That is the... Um, Durngil, and then Uvain is Melodir. He used to own this city. Uh, but he does have a couple. Loom really has a good army. Zeneva, we knocked out in that last one. Kularn was captured. Like, he has some good groups, but... Uh, Adwer here is... Well, he doesn't have as much as he used to. Land strength of 105 is not great anymore. Uh, my race. She, we gotta bring her in if we can. Because, you know. War maids. Um, Aaron. I don't think we've interacted with you, but 94 strength. 94, that's you. Andrek has 58 strength. Really? This must, oh yeah, there you go. Ergan is 600 because he owns the city. Yeah, I mean, he's really the one to get in. Melodir has almost no strength anymore. What does uh, the Kaladog say he has? Yeah, he's got less. Because we knocked out all your friends. So, um, wait a second. How do you have... Oh, that is Batania. Yes. Kaladog doesn't have that fief. Kaladog's clan has Maranath. Um, Maranath sitting... Oh, we don't know anything about its prosperity, really. Well, we've definitely beat the uh, Batanians down pretty solidly at this point. I, I definitely want their the other of their lands and to close this off if we can get away with it. More importantly than taking any more territory, though, is to get another uh, clan on our side. Preferably the Ingal clan, but they're not likely to join us while they have a city. So, eh, might be might be other options, but We've definitely beaten him. Now, we're going to instantly peace out if somebody else decides to get uppity. But we'll see where that pans out in the not-too-distance. And uh, we will get some peaceful rest for our clans and see what happens in the next one. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. Things are starting to steamroll just a little bit. You can feel the, like, momentum starting to go chick, 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 chick. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Have yourselves a great day. See you in game.